Oh, my goodness, Twitter. I mean, people are still freaking out about the fact that Mario has nipples. Seriously, if this is if this is the level of boredom that you guys have reached, then find yourself a girlfriend or boyfriend. And if you've already got one, then find another. I don't usually advocate polygamy, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Speaking of, we are supposed to be advancing the plot. Now the drawbridge is down, so why don't we make it rise up again? The drawbridge only opens during the day, doesn't it? <laughs> huh, it's still down. And the weather has turned a little, um, unpleasant. What's going on here, guys? Would it help if I went out and knocked? Now is not the time, Navi. Not the time. I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. <laughs> Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon I will I will rule the world. Dreams do come true, huh? Now, Princess Zelda threw something back at us. Oh. What's that? Let's have a look. Is that an ocarina? Link, don't hesitate. Just grab it. Oh, title drop! You found the Ocarina of Time! This is the royal family's hidden treasure, which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Mm -hmm. 
Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least, I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. This song opens the door of time. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Whoa, hey, I'm here. Whoa. How did I climb out of the water? Oh, who cares? So, Zelda's basically disappeared on us. Ganondorf is on her tail, and... The one thing that Ganondorf would desperately need in order to get to the Triforce and the Sacred Realm is now in our hands. And it's just by sheer dumb luck that he never saw Zelda throw it into the moat. Whew. Well, we've got our work cut out for us, people. Now I'm going to show you something that many players often completely miss, okay? Normally after seeing that scene, we would go straight to the Temple of Time, which is just adjacent to Hyrule Market here. And it seems like the town is largely unaffected by what just happened. Actually, let's see, what do these- these two usually have something relevant to say. Ooh, I almost got kicked by that black horse! And what about you? Look at that guy, he's so scared! What a wimp! Ha ha ha! I would be if a giant black horse nearly kicked me. Those things have power. Horses have probably killed more people than sharks. I'm not interested in talking to you, old man. You can tell me the dongles like smoke another day, and... Oh. Hey, what's the problem here, buddy? You had one too many? Are you the boy from the forest? I, I finally met you. I have something to, to, to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for, for our boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of... Time! Oh no. He's not moving anymore. Oh dear. Hey, did you see anything? Oh, sorry, I missed that. Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering around all day? Huh, kid? You are no help at all, are you? So yeah, a lot of people completely miss that guard. In fact, it took me at least a few playthroughs before I noticed him. <laughs> huh. 
Now, Hyrule Castle, the security around the garden area here has not improved whatsoever. Except for the fact that the guard will no longer take bribes <laughs> in order to get inside the castle. However, if we try to get into the castle courtyard again, it is completely blocked off to us. You can go inside, but there are two guards camping the entrance on the courtyard side all the time. Not just at night. I mean, unless you're actually dead set on killing the queen. I don't think they will act with physical violence. Okay, now this curious building here, I used to interpret those as two big eyeballs, but actually the arches at the top are the eyes and there's some kind of smile <laughs> partly hidden by the roof. Let's go in here. Oh my, hello. Yeah, I'm not going to bother reading that. I'm going to talk to you. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Let's take a look at Keaton, who is definitely Keaton and not some other strange Nintendo mascot. You borrowed a Keaton mask. Wear it with C to show it off. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. Now this sets in motion a side quest. The Keaton mask is just the first step. Hey, old lady, remember me? Oogaba! I hate foxes! Well, screw you. Um, let's see what these two have to say. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Wow, that was remarkably serious. <laughs> uh, what about you, beard man? A mask? When I was a little kid, I also wore masks around. What? You say you can't imagine me doing that? Ha! <laughs> nice. There are multiple masks that we will acquire, and throughout Hyrule there's at least one person who will want each mask. Oh, that's the mask everyone is talking about. Looks kind of strange. Yes, with the yellow face and the black bits on the ears, he does look a little bit like Pikachu, but I I am almost certain he's based on a Kitsune, or however you pronounce it. Those mischievous fox spirits. And yes, he does look a bit like Red from Animal Crossing, which I'm sure was deliberate as well. <laughs> Red being based off the mischievous fox, rather, not Red being based off this. Has Red appeared in Pocket Camp yet? I don't know. My partner once built a statue or some kind of effigy to Red, but I don't think he's actually appeared in person. I don't know. I would have thought Red would be a perfect addition to that game. You know, like maybe you're wandering through somebody else's camp and you see an item that you don't have, but Red could, I'm doing air quotes here, acquire it for you. <laughs> And then it just mysteriously shows up in his shop a few days later. Obviously you don't nick the item from the person, but it could be a way of getting otherwise exclusive items. It's possible. I don't know. That might lead to too many exploits. You took the words right out of my mouth, Navi. I was just about to say, Hey, soldier guy! I remember you asked about this. <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that a Keys something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that Key something mask. If you don't mind. Will you sell it to me? Eh, sure, why not? My boy will be very happy with this. 
You really are Mr. Hero. <laughs> you sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go back to the Happy Mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Now, I've been told about this, but I've never tried it myself. But apparently, if you show the guy there the key something mask, and then you do not give it to him, at first he's a little bit disappointed, but if you repeat it, he will get angry and close the gate on you again. <laughs> oh, I would wonder. You know, I would love to play a game like Knights of the Old Republic or Mass Effect on this channel. I even humoured the idea of doing Mass Effect 2. The thing is, these are games that I feel are not suited to Let's Plays because there's so much talking involved, but if I was recording it with someone else, then it would be feasible. One of my friends was actually playing Mass Effect and his girlfriend at the time got so frustrated with the way he was playing it that she had to take over. It turned out he'd picked the engineer class, which means you're doing a lot of tech and hacking stuff, but the way he was playing it was running around with the machine gun. <laughs> Firing from the hip, more or less. Now just because we've sold the Keaton mask, it is there again if you wanted to pick it up. Oh great! You sold it! Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton mask now. Payment received. Alright, next up we want the skull mask. A horned skull mask. I like that. Very to the point. You borrowed a skull mask. Wear it with C to show it off. You'll feel like a monster while you wear this mask. Not every NPC in the game has a special reaction to each mask. Some of them will make particular remarks, others will just be... You know, like those guys were just... Sorry, I'm busy right now. They're obviously not interested. But we do know of one person who would be really happy with having a scarier face. The trouble is he's all the way back in the Lost Woods. <laughs> now is it quicker for us to run straight there or is it quicker for us to go via Death Mountain? Probably not via Zora's River. I don't know. That sounds like the scenic route, doesn't it? You know what? I'll cut to it. I will see you guys there. Okay, since we're here, make a left right at the entrance, and here he is! It's the Skull Kid! Oh, we're going to really hate you later, aren't we? Hi, do you think my face is kind of plain? It's just not very unusual. Well, why don't we try and fix that with our Skull Mask? Yeah! Hee <laughs> hee! Under that mask, Aren't you that Kokiri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee <laughs> hee. I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Sure, why not? Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time. He gave you... He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your own pocket. And then he disappears into nothing. Superb. Well, I have 162 rupees to my name, so that's... You know, we, we can absorb the cost from that. The happy mask salesman, if you do not have the money required to pay back the mask, will get quite vicious. I don't remember exactly, but I think he even throws you out of his... out of his shop. Since we have Navi's attention here, let's see if I can pull off the... the little sequence break trick again. To see if you... if you missed it last time. Edge yourself to the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. We'll probably have to jump for this one. Jump for the edge and then try and do a jump attack as soon as Link 
climbs up. Then you hit C up in order to make Link talk to Navi. At this point, he will drop to the bottom of the body of water. Let's try it. Ah, missed the angle. Okay, let's try it from here. Oh, come on, I've definitely done this before. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. Yay! There we go. <laughs> I know we didn't actually need to do that, but I thought I would show it anyway. Now, while I'm here, it might be worthwhile checking for Gold Skulltula! No, I guess that's all of them we can find so far. But why did I come here instead of going to Hyrule Field? Well, we can just let the river carry us down. You can find a lot of money by swimming along here too. Just avoid the Octoroks. Let's just keep going. Woohoo! I do hope it did not show up on the sound there that a particularly loud car <laughs> just went past. Hey, I meant to ask you, guard, if you saw anything regarding Ganondorf. I guess not. And you'd better hope it stays a peaceful, prosperous town for a long time yet. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it almost never does. Okay, happy mask salesman. I hope you like my money, because it is my money. You know, I've never noticed these hedges next to the Happy Mask Shop before. Oh, we don't want to go here just yet. It is a very beautiful looking courtyard type of place. But let's wait a moment. I wonder if those bushes are there in the other versions of the game. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received. Alright, next up we have the spooky mask. Yes, it looks an awful lot like the mask from The Mask. But it took me a while to realise that it's actually the mask for a re-dead. Yeah, those freaky things that we saw in the royal family's tomb. Yeah, no kidding, you'll you'll scare many people <laughs> with these. There was a rather arresting video that I saw on, on YouTube where it was like 30 minutes of re-dead music. Or not music, but re-dead sound effects. You know that groaning noise they make? But you know, I do the thing where... I hovered over the progress bar to see if the picture that they used changed. And it changed about halfway through. Whoever put up that video is evil. Because they decided to put a re-dead scream exactly <laughs> part way through that thing. There's a tre there's a secret around this tree. I wonder if bombs can reveal it. Yay! Woohoo! The Stone of Agony tells all! Ooh, this is not your usual grotto! <laughs> oh, that was nice! Okay, yep, there you are. I stand by my statements that there are very few Gold Skulltula in Hyrule Field, and this is one of them. Now there is a rather curious glitch that you can perform with the Skulltula tokens, and during one of my playthroughs way back in the day on the Nintendo 64, I accidentally pulled it off here. There is one other place you can do it too. If you are standing on the warp tile 
when you catch the gold Skulltula with the boomerang. It becomes added to your Skulltula total, but the Skulltula itself is not recorded as being killed. So you can go back into the hole and kill the Skulltula again and get another token. This does mean that you can get more than 100 Skulltula, because there are 100 Skulltula <laughs> scattered around Hyrule. So it was quite confusing one day when, just by happenstance, we happened across the 100th Skulltula. But lo and behold, we had 101 tokens afterwards. Fishy. There is a friend of mine that I've known for more than 20 years. He's one of my oldest friends. Way back in the day, he made a handwritten list of the location of every piece of heart in this game. And I've still got it. <laughs> His descriptions are... would appear vague, but they're just helpful enough that they jog my memory. Okay, little boy, what do you, what do you think of this? Yeah, it's Dampy the Gravekeeper! I look nothing like Dampy the Gravekeeper. Huh? Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dampe. Will you give the mask to me? <laughs> I like how it's not just no, it's no way. With this mask, I'll be just like Dampe. Here's my money. You sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price? And he didn't mind paying at all. Let's go back to the mask shop to pay 30 rupees for the mask. You can get the new mask model too. I've always imagined if this were an RPG, the sort of faded blue text boxes. Those are either Navi or it's the game or the GM <laughs> telling you, hey, you should probably do this. And poor Anju there has lost her cuckoos again. Alas, I did it once. I don't think you get any more rewards after the empty bottle. Speaking of the bottles, I demonstrated getting milk from the cow, but apart from that, we've hardly used <laughs> the bottles. Oh, that poor fairy. Navi can go underwater just fine. I don't think fairies need oxygen. Or at least I hope they don't. Well, we used a bottle to get fish. That's what they have to do in this game. They have to force at least one bottle on you. Apart from that, you don't really need them. Well, you do need them. They are important, and they're very helpful, but only that one bottle is mandatory. <laughs> Oh, what was I thinking of there? Darn, it's escaped me. Yeah, the Stone of Agony rumbles when you're near secret holes. Now, bombs are the most tried and tested ways of revealing these holes, but there are other items and other methods that will be revealed later in the game that allow us to open those holes too. Bombs don't always work, as we've seen. I am adamant I was standing in the correct place <laughs> for the one up at Hyrule Castle. We'll just have to check back later. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees for the spooky mask now. Payment received. Oh yeah, it's Bunnyhood! If you've played Super Smash Bros. Melee, you will probably love or hate this. It's got swinging rabbit ears. You borrowed a bunny hood. We're at the sea to show it off. The hood's long ears are so cute. <laughs> that they are. This mask also appears in the sequel to this game, Majora's Mask, where if Link is wearing it, then his ambulatory speed doubles. Or is it 50% faster he goes? I don't know. Basically, Link runs faster. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, how I wish it had that power in this game. 
Now, Hyrule Field is mostly magnificent desolation, however... There is one other person wandering around it. He does not immediately appear. I believe you have to have gotten all three spiritual stones for him to appear. But there is a man running around Hyrule Field right now. Most, or at least for part of the night, he stops to take a break. And my hope is that I'm sort of running opposite to his direction of running. I do hope I can find him. <laughs> He's curiously unfazed by the style children that go around here too. You can usually spot him at a distance because you can see the little tufts of dust that he seems to kick up when he runs. Finding him at night like this though might be a problem. Especially considering that the draw distances in this game, or spawn distances, I should say, are not perfect. Why couldn't Hyrule Fields just be various shades of green? Why why are these beige bits mixed in? Nah, eh, he usually wanders around here somewhere. He usually does so without fear of the pea hats. Knowing my luck, he's probably at the far opposite end of his, his, his route. He takes the same route every time, I believe. Now, at least at night time, the pea hats should be a little less dangerous, which is always welcome. Wait, is that him over there? I think it is. Oh, no, he just got up. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, and the pea hat's going to come up now that the sun rises. Will the pea hat stay up if I play the sun song? Let's try it. You can always learn in these games. Oh, it does. Nice. Okay, this guy will not talk to us until we, or rather until he stops. If you've played Majora's Mask, you may recognize him as the postman. Oh, super, nice. In old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore though, because of excessive hunting. That is true, they're not even in Breath of the Wild. Except the Bloopy. I want to become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears, hop across the ground with those legs. Even if I can only pretend. Well, I've got you covered. I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please, sell it to me. Hell, yes. My long-time dream, returning to the wildlife! Finally, the actor, the stage, and prop have been united! It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count! Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rupees of this money. <laughs> Our number's still going up! Ta-da! How great is that? Regardless of how much money you have in your possession, the athlete there will, or the runner will, fill your wallet, basically. So, <laughs> even if you're capable of talking to him and you do not have the giant wallet, or you have a lot of money, best to wait until you need it. Let's just, let's just say that, eh? However, in this case, we do want to go back to the mask shop, because there's one last mask that we can get, and it is sort of your reward for this quest, even though you get a bunch of other masks too. You can get the Zora, the Goron, and the Gerudo mask, 
Sadly, none of them have transformative properties. The Goron mask is quite amusing, though. The Gorons do not realize <laughs> that you're in disguise. They think that you're a very malnourished Goron. I wish I was joking. The Gerudo applaud you for trying to disguise yourself to get into their area, to get into their dominion. The Zoras, I have no idea how they react. Because truth be told, I, like 99% of players, are only really interested in the Mask of Truth. What is that you say? Well, I could have shown you it earlier, but here it is. I said, here it is. Come on, Link. Let's hustle. Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. I practically got infinite markup on that. Oh, yeah. Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. Oh, that's the same people that Impa belonged to. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Ho ho ho! You borrowed a mask of truth. Wear the sea to show it off. Show it to many people. From now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. I am not going to bother with any more. We have the mask of truth. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, what do you have to say about this thing? I said, what do you have to say about this thing? Yeah, what's your problem? Okay, what about you? How irritating. <laughs> Maybe this does let you see into people's souls. Is that girl stuck behind the bushes? What a strange mask. <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to read people's minds while wearing a strange mask, most of the time, people's, res people's inner thoughts will be, Wow, what a strange mask. The Mask of Truth has a far more useful property, though. You see these strange stones? These gossip stones that have been dotted around Hyrule? This mask allows you to communicate with them. Responding to your mask, this strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that if you get close to a butterfly while holding a Deku stick in your hands, something good will happen. It's extremely rare that this works, but it is true. If you stand near butterflies and they land on your Deku stick, most of the time, if not all the time, they transform into fairies. Now these gossip stones are dotted all around Hyrule and you can learn all sorts of funny tips or lore or trivia about the world, just from reading them. Some of them are a little more obvious than others, some of them are hints. What does this say? They say that Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. Apart from Ganondorf, the Gerudo are an all-female race, so the question of how they procreate has been answered. They say that it is against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Ooh, now that is a subtle hint on how we beat that minigame when we come to it. Okay, number three. What do you have to say? They say that Malin of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. Okay, and number four. They say that Malin set the original record in the obstacle course of Lon Lon Ranch. Erm... Um, Nito. But yeah, these gossip stones are dotted everywhere, and there are quite a few amusing ones. <laughs> if you read the Ocarina of Time manga, 
Uh, Link can make them talk just by bashing them. Where they reveal some really embarrassing things. But I will leave it at that there, because this structure right here, this magnificent building, is the Temple of Time. You can come here as soon as you arrive at Hyrule Castle Town Market for the first time. Not much of a reason to, mind you. I have to assume this temple is protected by more than just stone wall. Stone walls. Or whatever is inside is, that is. What does this say? There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the ocarina of time and play the song of time. That is how the inscription reads. We're going to do that next time, folks.